For everybody in their first micro econ class, when you get to your perfect competition unit, this is why the marginal revenue curve is horizontal. It all comes down to perfectly competitive firms being price takers. They've got to accept the price that's set by the market. Which in this case for this one right here, let's just say it lies right here. I'll label this line P because this is the price that perfectly competitive firms have to take from the market, no matter how many units they're selling or outputting on the X axis. And because these firms have to accept the market price, the price horizontal line right here is the marginal revenue curve. Because no matter at what point of output the perfectly competitive firm is at, their next unit is going to bring in additional revenue equal to the price that's set by the market. I'll get to this in a couple of days here, but this differs from monopolies who have a downward sloping marginal revenue curve because the more units they decide to output, they charge a lower price. This is because monopolies have market power. They can choose whatever price they want based on how many units they output. Whereas perfectly competitive firms have to accept the market price here, and in turn, it's equal to the marginal revenue per unit that they'd sell. All right, tomorrow here, I've got written, shoot, we're gonna go over profit maximization for a perfectly competitive firm. And if you like the way that I explain microeconomics, make sure to check out my website. My cram kit can explain to you this entire class in around two hours.